Kerala State Electricity Board Limited is a public sector agency under the Government of Kerala, India, that generates, transmits and distributes the electricity supply in the state. Established in 1957, the agency comes under the authority of the Department of Power. Topic General The Kerala State Electricity Board, constituted by the Government of Kerala, by order dated 7 March 1957, under the Electricity Supply Act, 1948 is in the business of generation, transmission and distribution of electricity and striving to provide quality electricity at affordable cost to all classes of consumers in the state of Kerala. As per Section 172 of the Electricity Act 2003 and as mutually decided by the Government of India and Government of Kerala, KSEB has continued as Transmission Utility and Distribution Licensee till 24 September 2008. In exercise of powers conferred under sub-sections 1, 2, 5, 6 and 7 of Section 131 of the Electricity Act, 2003, State Government v. the Notification GO MIS, 37-2008, PD dated 25 September 2008 has vested all functions, properties, interests, rights, obligations and liabilities of KSEB with the State Government till it is re-vested the same in a corporate entity. Accordingly, KSEB has been continuing all the functions as a generator, state transmission utility and a distribution licensee in the state. Kerala State Electricity Board commenced functioning on 31 March 1957 afternoon as per order no EL1-6475-56 of a per Peter Watt dated 7 March 1957 of the Kerala State Government. It had five members with Sri K. P. Sridharan Nair as chairman. All the staff belonging to the erstwhile electricity department was transferred to the board. The board consisting of the chairman and the members is the supreme governing body. The state government by their notification EL 3-9345 dated 21 February 1958 constituted the State Electricity Consultative Council under Section 16 of the Electricity Supply Act. The council functions as consultative body and the board is required to place before the council the annual financial statement and supplementary statements if any before submitting such statements to the state government. The board consisting of the chairman and the members is the supreme governing body. The board consists of seven members and is headed by the chairman. The Government of Kerala and KSE Board issued orders for the restructuring of KSE Board into profit centres in April 2002. Members head the profit centres. There is a corporate office to coordinate and control the activities of the board. After the enactment of Electricity Act, 2003, KSEB has been functioning as the State Transmission Utility and a Distribution Licensee W. E. F. 10 December 2004 under Section 172 of the Electricity Act, 2003. The central government had approved the continuation of KSEB as a state transmission utility and licensee only up to 24 September 2008. In exercise of the powers conferred under sub-sections 1, 2, 5, 6 and 7 of Section 131 and Section 133 of the Electricity Act 2003 Central Act 36 of 2003 the Government of Kerala had issued notification v. GO MS No 37 2008 PD, dated, Tiruvananthapuram, 25 September 2008 for the purpose of vesting of functions, properties, interests, rights, obligations and liabilities of the Kerala State Electricity Board in the State Government on such terms as agreed to by the Kerala State Electricity Board and the State Government and revesting thereof by the State Government in a corporate entity and also for the transfer of personnel of the Board to the corporate entity and for determining the terms and conditions on which such transfers and vesting shall be made. Accordingly, with effect from 25 September 2008, all the functions, properties and all interests, rights in properties, all rights and liabilities of the board are vested in the state government. KSEB was converted to Kerala State Electricity Board Limited in 2014. The original KSEB was dissolved and its assets and liabilities were transferred from government to the newly formed company KSEB Limited. Topic. History The history of electricity in the state is around one century old. The first effort in this direction was a private endeavor. Like many other modern infrastructure facilities, electricity also was first brought to the state by a British company, the Carnan Devon Hill Produce Company, Munur. 
The first generating station of the state was set up on the right bank of a tributary of River Periyar in 1910. It was a hydroelectric project and that tributary named Madhirapura continues to be the site of larger number of hydroelectric projects in the state. After a spell of 17 years, the attention of the state authorities turned to newer forms of generating energy. The government of Travancore set up a facility to supply electricity to the households of Tiruvan and Tapuram town. In 1927, a thermal power station was established under government ownership at Tiruvan and Tapuram for production of electrical energy on commercial lines. Three oil engine generators, of a capacity of 65 kilowatts each, were installed and commercial production started in 1929. This station was located at Thampanur at Tiruvan and Tapuram. An electrical wing under the State Public Works Department was entrusted with the administration of the scheme. The next significant development was the formation of a separate department for electricity in 1932 by His Highness Sri Chithirathirunal Maharaja and his Diwan Sir C. P. Ramaswamy Iyer. The formation of the electricity department paved the way for notable developments in the field. Thermal generating stations were set up at Kollam, Kottayam and Nagakoil now in, Tamil Nadu in 1934. By that time, the possibilities of hydroelectric generation attracted the attention of the technologists and the authorities. Kerala being a land of mountains and rivers, it presented a fertile field for hydroelectric generation. The vast potential for hydroelectric generation in the state prompted the state authorities to take steps to establish stations for hydroelectric generation. The first of these ventures was the Palivasal hydroelectric project, the construction of which was started in 1933. The first stage of the project was commissioned in 1940. Its capacity was 13.5 MW. By that time, a comparable electric transmission network had also been completed with 66 kV substations at Alipura, Mavalikara, Kothamangalam, Kundara, Kalamasari, Vaya, Alava, and Tiruvanantapuram, which were also commissioned in 1940 itself during April to May months. The Kerala State Electricity Board started functioning under the direction of a newly formed Kerala government, on 31 March 1957. The first governing body consisted of five members, and was headed by the chairman K. P. Sridhara Kamal. The staff of the erstwhile Department of Electricity of the Thirukochi State were transferred to the KSEB. At the time of its inception, in 1958, the KSEB had an installed capacity of 109.5 MW, with a total annual internal generation of 441.35 mu. Over the years, as demand increased, the board has imported power from neighboring states and private entities. The board has also set up several more Heidel power stations within the state. As of 2008, the KSEB Limited has a total installed capacity of state to 2,657.24 MW and a consumer base of over 9,159,399. As per the Central Electricity Act 2003, KSEB was converted to Kerala State Electricity Board Limited in 2014. The original KSEB was dissolved and its assets and liabilities transferred to the government initially and then transferred to the newly formed company KSEB Limited. Studies made by electricity finance expert Dr. D. Sheena in 2007 recommended retention of KSEB in public sector. Topic generation KSEB Limited has 23 hydroelectric projects, two diesel power plants and one wind farm. The total installed capacity is 2,898.51 MW. They are hydroelectric projects 2,107.91 MW Itaki 780.00 MW Sabarigiri 340 MW Idamalaya 75 MW Sholaya 54 MW Palivasal 37.5 MW Katyadi 225 MW Panya 32.4 MW Neriamangalam 77.65 MW Lower Periyar 180 MW Perangorkuthu and PLBE 52 MW Megawatts, Sengulam, 51.2 megawatts, Kakada, 50 megawatts, small hydroelectric projects, 52.85 megawatts, Kalada, 15 megawatts, Pepara, 3 megawatts, Malankara, 10.5 megawatts, Madupati, 2 megawatts, Malampura, 2.5 megawatts, Lower Meenmati, 3.5 megawatts, Chembakadavu 1, 2.7 megawatts, Chembakadavu 2, 3.7 megawatts, Urumi minus 1, 3.75 megawatts, Urumi minus 2, 2.4 
megawatts Cutiardi tail race 3.75 megawatts Peachy 1.25 megawatts thermal projects 234.6 megawatts Brahmapuram diesel power plant 63.96 megawatts Koji code diesel power plant 96 megawatts non-conventional energy 82.95 megawatts Kasaragode solar power park 50 megawatts Ambalathara Kochi International Airport solar power plant 29.7 megawatts Nadumbasari Kanjikode wind farm 2 megawatts Edaya 1.25 megawatts solar PV plant power project under construction asterisk Kasaragode solar power park phase 2 Pivalike 50 megawatts the KSEB has done a triplicate agreement with THDC India and SECI for construction of a 50 megawatts solar power at Komingala near to the Pivalike of Kasaragode district at 300 acre land the land survey for the power plant is now going on. Transmission The Kerala power system grid is connected to the southern region transmission system through two 400 kV double circuit lines. They are Udamalpet Madakathara Line, Thirunaveli Palapuram Line. Mysore, Calicut Linear. There are six major interstate transmission lines at 220 kV level and 110 kV level. The 220 kV lines are Kaniampeta Katakola, single circuit, Idaki Udamalpet, single circuit, Sabarigiri Theni, single circuit. Edaman Tirunelveli, double circuit. The 110 kV lines are Parasala, Kuzhithuran. Manjuswaram, Kanaki, the major substations include four 400 kV substations, and 17,220 kV substations. The main grid comprises the 220 kV systems. The transmission sector of KSEB comprises two zones namely north and south. The State Load Dispatch Center located at Kalamassery. 400 kV substations at Palipuram, Tiruvanantapuram, Palikara, Kochi and Palakkada are owned by PGCIL. It is the first 400 kV substation in Kerala. Distribution <inaudible> 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 KSEB Limited distributes electricity in the state of Kerala except in the administrative region of Trasur Municipal Corporation and Munur For operational conveniences the distribution wing is divided into four zones, South, Central, North and North Malabar. <laughs> Kerala State Load Dispatch Centre The State Load Dispatch Centre is the apex body to ensure integrated operation of the power system in Kerala. It is the strategic functional unit of State Electricity Board Limited, for discharging various functions specified under Section 32 of Indian Electricity Act 2003. Be responsible for optimum scheduling and dispatch of electricity within a state, in accordance with the contracts entered into with the licensees or the generating companies operating in that state. Monitor grid operations. Keep accounts of the quantity of electricity transmitted through the state grid. Exercise supervision and control over the intrastate transmission system. Be responsible for carrying out real-time operations for grid control and dispatch of electricity within the state through secure and economic operation of the state grid in accordance with the grid standards and the state grid code. Topic. See also. Photovoltaic power station Supercritical steam generator Waste to energy Pressurized water reactor Pump storage hydroelectricity Hydroelectricity Tidal power – wave power Incineration Biomass-fired power station Geothermal electricity <laughs>